And how about you, Nada? What are you most excited to find with out in the wild with DLC magic? <laughs> so th this might be a ways out still. Um, so, you know, it won't be part of V0 or anything. But once we get DLCs on Lightning, I'm actually very excited for DLCs inside of uh, individual Lightning channels where uh, they will be used to enforce trustless uh, synthetic assets inside of Lightning channels. So I like to call this stable not a coins, um, uh, where essentially um, there, there's this idea of like, say, uh, if you've heard of like the rainbow network or rainbow channels, where um, you can imagine since we have this off-chain payment channel, say me and Chris, uh, I, say I want fixed USD value on my Satoshis uh, in this channel for whatever purpose. Um, then if the Bitcoin price goes up, I send him a payment over the Lightning Network. And if it goes down, then he sends me a payment over the Lightning Network. Uh, that way I get a fixed. So let's say I have $100, price goes up, now I have 110 I give him $10. And now if the price goes down uh, and I have $90 now, he sends me $10 worth. So I have $100 fixed. Uh, but then I can use the Lightning Network, you know, pay people. And they could be also, say, using these channels. So to them, it looks like I'm paying them dollars or euros or satoshis if they want um so that's that's kind of the the high level idea now the problem and where dlcs come into this is as i just described it i mean sure it's just micro transactions right we could like be doing this following the price every 10 seconds or something right so it's, it's never going to be a huge amount that needs to be sent back and forth uh but what if the price like does a 10k candle or something right like one party is not going to want to pay up <laughs> in, in that situation so the problem here is that if you do it the way I just described, it's it's a fully trusted mechanism, right? You're just trusting your counterparty to pay you because maybe you'll pay them later. Um, but uh, that's not great. So the first iteration on this was the idea that we could have only one side be trusted. So one side could be a trusted service and they could hold collateral of the other side. So if the other side refuses to pay, then the side could just take their collateral or something like that. Uh, but this requires trust on one side, so it's not really peer to peer. With DLCs, we can kind of fully get to this vision of having it be trustless on both sides. What you do is rather than one party holding another's collateral for the biggest possible move, for example, that they could imagine, um, like an upper bound on it, you instead have a DLC sit in the middle of the channel, like on the channel, holding the largest move, and it holds collateral from both parties. So then what happens is every time that a payment goes from one side to the other, we also throw this DLC away and update it with a new one. Um, but so essentially now we do it, just as I said, we pay each other based on the price moving. But if the price uh, moves against one of us and like someone misbehaves, rather than just getting away with it, you use the DLC to ex to force, like forcibly take those those collateral funds from them. So essentially, it removes the counterparty trust in place of using some multi-oracle scheme where you're putting some trust in the oracles instead of in your counterparty. And then um, on top, and you know, you're already trusting oracles if you're doing this because you're following a Bitcoin price in order to move funds back and forth. So really, we're just taking trust away here. So you take trust away, no counterparty trust needed. You have a DLC that sits on your channel holding collateral. And now you can unilaterally take funds from your counterparty if the price moves against them using this DLC. If they're not cooperating, if they are cooperating, you can just have them send you those funds and throw that DLC away, plop a new one on the channel for the next time interval. Uh, so essentially, this allows you to follow any index. And so you can create synthetic assets and all sorts of other cool things inside of Lightning channels.